Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for February 21st of 2023 well, it is titled Comet ZTF over Yosemite Falls. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, Yosemite Falls in California in the United States. And we see the waterfall there uh, coming down from the higher levels, of course, down to the lower levels being pulled down by Earth's gravity. And up above it in the sky, we see a comet in our solar system, and that is held in its orbit by the sun's gravity. So the same type of thing, the same gravity that causes the water to fall here, the gravity of Earth pulling the water down also keeps the comet in orbit around our sun. Now here we see the comet at its closest approach to Earth uh, just a few weeks ago when it was at its closest and still relatively bright. And we see the distinct head of the comet, the brighter area there, the nucleus of the comet, of course, is invisible. While all of this is produced by material from the nucleus, the nucleus itself is too small to be able to be seen, even if it were not for the brighter halo around it. Now we also see the ion tail stretching straight back to the upper right. That is the very thin tail stretching back there that consists of very uh, individual atoms and ions that are pushed back by the energy of our sun. Now spread out more is the dust tail at this position. We see the dust tail very well spread out on both sides of the head, giving the comet the appearance of having more than just the two typical tails. And that's a matter of perspective as the comet orbits and goes through its orbit around our sun. Now the greenish color that we see is due to carbon atoms. The comet is essentially a dirty snowball traveling through space, a lot of icy material, including water ice. And again, the same type of water that there is falling in the waterfall down below. However, it also could contain ices of methane and ammonia and could have some carbon compounds. And when that material is vaporized by the heat of the sun, it forms a halo around it and that carbon can give off the distinct green color that we see here with the comet. Now, as I said, Comet ZTF had its closest approach at the beginning of this month. Uh, that was its closest approach to Earth and its closest approach to the sun a couple of weeks before that. So it's now heading away from Earth and away from the sun out in, back into the outer solar system. And as it does that, it will continue to fade rapidly and become harder and harder to see until it disappears into the outer depths of the solar system until in a long time, the sun will actually uh, enough gravity will slow it down and turn it around and it will come back to Earth again. However, comets can have varied orbits. And in the case of Comet ZTF, it could take tens of thousands of years for it to return. However, when you get to the outer part of the solar system, the gravity is so weak that little perturbations can actually disrupt the orbit and it may actually leave our solar system altogether. So not something that we will know for a very long time, but we got to see it here in January and February of 2023 when it did make its approach into the inner solar system. So that was our picture of the day for February 21st of 2023. It was titled Comet ZTF over Yosemite Falls. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a surprisingly busy sun. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.